All right, we are approximately 15 seconds out from this Nintendo Direct on September 13th. And as Dante put it, which I think is a pretty good way to put it, this is going to be the Pikmin 4 Nintendo Direct, and it's going to be the Advance Wars Direct. So, you know, we're just going to be throwing that one out there. It, it might not happen, though, but it, it also might happen. So keep, keep your head up, Pikmin fans. You're going to get something. Today's the day. I ain't got no basis for this, but today's the day. We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Is this heroes known Deal, as Emblems. Deal Field Chronicle? With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. That looks like Fire Emblem, end, actually. We were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. This is definitely Fire Emblem. I saw some Fire Emblem characters in the art. Here's hoping it's not a, a Heroes Dynasty Warriors game. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> it's looking like a Dynasty Warriors game. Oh. Ah, there's no way Marth would be in a normal Fire Emblem game. This is Dynasty Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors, whatever you want to call it. Fire Emblem Engage. Thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon, a member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war, the fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember, but this is not a Dynasty Warriors game. The ring, Marth, right. Leave it to me. Hmm. Marth getting some, some more respect. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come. It's going so now, fast. As one emblem, engage! Why does he have blue and red hair? But... Like, he has the Marth, who has the blue hair, and then Sigurd, who has the blonde hair. I thought it was going to be like Roy or something like that. Or, you know, someone with red hair. Why is it called Engage? Watch it be like a mobile game. Oh my gosh, in January? I ain't ready. Hello, everyone. I ain't I'm ready. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Uh, let me start writing stuff down. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition containing collectible items. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. Let's take a look at our first batch of headlines. It takes two to tango. Hey, this game is so good. Cody and May's relationship yeah. is on the rocks. This is a good game to put on the Switch. When they're turned into dolls. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't to on the Switch before. Back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate with a friend in this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure. Even the bumpiest road can be traveled with someone by your side. 
adventure through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. <laughs> In addition to single I have a clip. Play, the game can also be played <laughs> with on two systems via local at that spot. Or online with a pal via the One of the best clips pal. of my channel. Help Cody and May return to normal with a partner, of course. It Takes Two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. Great game. If you haven't played that game, go play it. Absolutely fantastico. The forbidden story begins. You know, these horror games. <sighs> Y'all can keep this. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minasuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Really surprised that a Fire Emblem Use game is coming out. Obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark yes. curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. That copyrighted music. There's a new hero who looks mechanical? Introducing Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game. 2019. This is Eno, a new hero. Last she appears one. to be, uh, mechanical? Complete her quest to have her join your party. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Challenge battles will also be added. Test your medal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. Challenge even stronger enemies to earn valuable accessories and special outfits. More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was a good game. I didn't buy the Expansion Pass. I'm probably not going to do any of that. These Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, and meet your favorite Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. That's it. Soak up really? SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. Firmly grasp it in your hand. You're already fit? Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. They'll be your instructors in exercise mode, leading you through various boxing drills. Defeat as many enemies as you can with just your fists in battle mode, or take on rivals in boss battles, including Jaggy. Fitness Boxing, Fist of the North Star, launches on Nintendo Switch March 2023. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character this from head looks to toe interesting. with hundreds of accessories. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. A small fox washes ashore on a ruined island. Oh, Brave the unknown in this isometric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. Dangerous traps and even never played this game myself. I watched uh, Krayson play a little bit of this one. It seemed okay. If I were to be honest, though, it was on my radar for such a long time, and then it just wouldn't come out, and so I was like, all right, I'm, I'm done keeping an eye on this game. I'm moving on with my life. New Intel has arrived for these Front Mission remakes. Remakes? Full remakes of two Front Mission games are storming in. 
In Front Mission 1 Remake, you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn-based combat. Isn't there only one? As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. You can also test your metal at the Coliseum. Do you call them Ponzers? I... Super villain Ponzers? the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased <laughs> outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills added from the first game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Okay, so this is going all out with those. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. What's that Disney game? After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. It's Harvest Moon, but not Harvest Moon, but actually Harvest Moon. Maybe. Restore and expand Depending on which Harvest Moon you're looking forward to. Care for your friendly animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. Hmm. An especially wonderful farm life. Guess I'm gonna have to bring out the belt. Lies ahead. Story of Seasons: A Wonderful Life launches on Nintendo Switch, Summer 2023. Splatoon stuff, right? Right. You know, I still haven't played any Splatoon. I'm pretty sure I own Splatoon 1. I don't even think I took it out of the plastic. The game, the game's concept is just so fascinating and cool to me. I don't know if I just will ever play it though. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? You gotta bring you gotta bring a mixture of all three. So but many definitely some fun. Possibilities. Which team will you join? Fun is involved with gear though. And with gear you can make grub. So you gotta go and with gear. More free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. That's how this works. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. So, squids. What did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Next, please take a look at this. What you got? doesn't look like oh my gosh introducing a brand new game in the octopath traveler series yeah don't Eight say new travelers embark on a journey through the land of celestia with that we could realize a world without conflict without bloodshed i'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces just like mama i'm hitting the road I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called Pablo. It looks, it looks nice. Like it looks better than the first Doctor Path. I don't know if that's fair. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. Are they going to improve it's the story the formula though? World set in a bustling era each traveler's path action differs between day and night yeah. our lord 
Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big round? Let's go, Temenos. And what adventures await them in this new world? I think I found the source. Job, huh? The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them? Hopefully intertwined with every single other character. <laughs> Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24, 2023. You're kidding me. What you just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. What the suckle fool? Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Let's see some more headlines. What the suckle fool? These games are launching so quickly. I don't got time to be playing all these. Magical home is waiting for you. Suckle fool. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your home. I mean, I'm glad they're making it, but and dang, everlasting man. friendships in this farm simulation RPG. Let's see. Discover magical spells to grow crops. Face off against oh mischievous gosh. foes. And explore the enchanted oh realms gosh. of Azoria. Along the way, Fire Emblem and Octopath Traveler are a month apart. This so home. there's that. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. By gathering resources and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. As the seasons change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Magic awaits in Fay Farm. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. Looks interesting. Nice co-op game. Musical blast from the past. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel, Torn from the Heavens, Suteki Dane, and more. There are 385 songs total. Songs are categorized by game, so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi-battle. This doesn't seem Theater like my kind of game. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. After the game's launch, pay DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. Octopath Traveler. Live Alive and more will be released. Ah, That's nine live additional live. songs. Plus, additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. 102 songs. That's crazy. A cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario <laughs> and the I'm, I'm definitely playing this game. I haven't decided Let's yet if I'm playing it on launch day or not. Definitely playing this all one. All sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins, unlock hidden paths, and help out the locals with their troubles. At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. Can Mario and the Rabbits put an end to the darkness? Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Actually, probably won't play it. Containing if the I'm playing game, Trails and a season pass. to Zero or to Azure, whatever one is coming out first, 
The game's gonna take me forever. Peace between humans and monsters. Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. Rune Factory 3. Didn't Rune Factory 5 just come out? Locals, cultivate crops, and care for monsters, among other relaxing activities. You can also transform into a monster? Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. Six. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Series. Interesting. More Nintendo 64 games are on the way. Pilot Wings 64. Mario Party. Mario Party 64 is a pretty frustrating game, Mario but. Mario Party 2. You know, it was there. Mario Party 3. All right. They added a lot of disrespect. Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium. I didn't want to play that. Pokemon Stadium 2. 1080 snowboarding. Pokemon Coliseum. That's GameCube, right? Excite Bike 64. Well, they actually added a bunch. These games will gradually be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits with an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Oh my gosh. This is, n oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, they waited for that one. With, uh, oh my gosh. Oh man. Why not mix things up oh with these man. Nintendo Switch games? Oh man, y'all just caused the ruckus the right there. discovered continent of Antoesia in this immersive RPG. Perform over 100 types of daily tasks. How could you do that? And you know what you just caused. You know what you just so, did. You'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. A grand adventure into the unknown awaits. Various Daylight launches on Nintendo Switch later today. A malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rocket from scratch in this management sim game. Scour the planet for materials. Then build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. This is kind of sounds kind of nice. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. She wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib, launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. Mario Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting a second free update. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong, a midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. Free update. That's great. The final summer begins. This again? Genshin Impact? No, this is a, Atelier. Atelier. When strange islands suddenly appear, Ryza and friends set sail to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. 
Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Or Atelier. Some people call it Atelier. I don't know what you pronounce this. I'm never going to play this game. I've seen Grayson play this game. Because I've seen Grayson play one of these games. And I'm just, just like, this game does not look fun. Why do people... Well, what do people find fun about these games? I don't know. New features are also in store. One of them has like the keys a, to this life never mind, adventure never mind. are in your hands. Game don't look like it's for me. Atelier Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Wave three is on the way. Mario Kart. Two courses racing into wave three. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. Wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. In the next free update, golf will be added. Which one is this? <laughs> I don't know which one this is. Of course, you can play these locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Is this the one with like volleyball? Those strokes will be out. Or is it badminton? We volleyball and badminton? That the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Please wait just a little longer. Next, we have a special guest. Mr. Miyamoto! Hello, yeah. it's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, oh, the Mario movie. The Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination Canceled. released next spring. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California in the US. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. This is Pikmin Bloom. It's a smart device game we started with Niantic late last year, in which players all over the world are planting flowers. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. Uh, you ain't gonna just Pikmin do some Pikmin Bloom right now. Y'all gonna do something with Pikmin 4. walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. So, how many steps did we take today? While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. Let's take a quick look at my screen. I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. If you give Pikmin nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along the path you walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. Doesn't seem like a game to me. Just I normally move around like within Kyoto, something, I've also an, been going like an application to, to encourage Japan. you to walk more, I guess. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. 
You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easygoing play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Main event. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Dante is going to be so excited. Dang, That's I didn't right. show nothing though. Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this from the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. Hmm. I also made a new t shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. Dang, no gameplay though. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Now, let's move on to some more headlines. I like when they do that. Take your it's dancing just, game to the next level. And it goes so well. We're at 31 minutes right now. We got approximately eight more minutes to go. A small part of me is curious what people play these dance games. You know, like what demographic? Who's who's buying them? Who's playing them? Who's keeping the services alive? Do we just like do we secretly have all the dance studios? and all the choreographers just they have like a wii or a wii u or a nintendo switch and they're just like yeah we buy just dance all the time this is how we train all of our dances can you survive the season of death as you cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village of lethe the season of death quietus continuously returns threatening to destroy all Travel the world and find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this of presentation, this a demo world. containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased harvestella launches on nintendo switch november 4th get ready for a devilishly good time bayonetta 3. after 500 years umbra witch bayonetta was revived in the present day in the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. Oh, right, man, you delivering some spoilers right now. I haven't ever played those games. I have them on my list. You know, I might actually play them. So don't now, in this don't let me know what's going on there. She'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. It's always got to be man-made. She's gone from fighting for herself. As usual, others, people done goof. To fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca. And another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. A hair raising. Demon summoning. Globe trotting adventure awaits. In Bayonetta 3, 
launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. I don't know if they announced a release date After for that. After today's Nintendo Direct, uh, a new previously. trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Never played those games either. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate-controlled metropolis. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. Oh, I thought it said rain dope or something like that. I was like, An what kind of detective. name is this? <laughs> and Shinigami, it's the spirit rain code, I believe. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Tower. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Uncover the secrets of Master Detective What Archives. is this game, though? Launching first on the Nintendo is Switch it system. A dungeon crawler? But a visual novel? Like. I'm confused. Enter the village right, if you dare. All right, man. All right, man. The latest installment in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. A cloud version. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Winter's Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more will launch December 2nd. Additionally, three other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. We back. Vanquish foes to avenge your father in this Zifu. kung fu action I've seen some people play this game. Thrusting, this game looks cool. Tripping and parrying opponents. You'll break their stance and gain the upper A lot of people hand. were complaining. It was very, Fall very difficult. And you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? I haven't played it myself, Sifu though. It, it definitely seems very Switch difficult. November 8th. Pre -orders begin it's a cool game. On Nintendo e -shop. Experience the events leading up to Final Fantasy VII in this exhilarating action RPG. Zack Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring to become a hero. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud, he investigates strange disappearances within his elite unit. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The classic arcade shoot 'em up December 13th. is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. What was it called? Crisis Core Final Fantasy Seven Reunion. Or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. 
complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I think I have a game on PC. The journey of world regeneration begins anew. That's Tales of Symphonia. Remaster of Tales of Symphonia is coming to Nintendo Switch. The world of Silverant is They're not going to port over Dawn of a New World? I mean, I understand why, them. but... A person known as the chosen they were remastered on the same the game. Of Salvation. I really hope that's true. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette, the current chosen one, and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat, Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. The fate of two interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. Tales of Symphonia Remastered begins its journey on Nintendo Switch early next year. I dig it. Interesting that they didn't do Dawn of a New World, though. But like I said, I, I get it. I get it. All right. We're at 40 minutes. So if they have a super secret pick, it'll be very soon. But uh, it kind of looks like they might not have one. Tell the Symphonia might have been the banger. And, you know, it was kind of a banger. I, I have like four or five six maybe seven copies of that game throughout my lifetime i think right now i have like four or five but i've definitely paid for that game more than four or five times Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore return to his home planet, Kirby and his friends set off on an adventure. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Blast foes from a distance, or punch them up close. It's packed with other powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Same Plus, system. Everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. There's also a collection you know, of sub-games to play. I've always said this about the Kirby games. I think the they're fun. I like them. They're probably the only games in the entire world like where I... I would say I wish they were more difficult. The only games in the entire world. I don't dislike the games though because they're a little bit easier. A lot easier. But, you know, it is what it is. You play a Kirby game, you're going to beat it in like three hours. February 24th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. You gotta drop the banger. What you got? What you got? Zelda? First, first glance, Breath of the Wild 2. Yep. If it's not Breath of the Wild 2, it's some sort of Zelda game. I'm locking it in. I locked it in. 
at the right time. Tears of the Kingdom. So it's a new name. Okay. Okay. So it's not going to be two. Release date. May 12th. Release date. And they just shutting it off just like that. Oh, man. Oh man, Tears of the Kingdom. All right, dog, all right, all right. Keep an eye on that one. All right, that was the Nintendo Direct. I wrote down uh, four games. There was a, a couple more that I probably would have wanted to write down. There were co-op games. Uh, one of them were there like on a barge or something like that. And then there was one more. And I can't recall, but uh, Fire Emblem Engage, Octopath Traveler 2, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion. I think that's the name. I don't know if that's the name. And, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the King. Uh, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on those games. Uh, there's a couple other games that I'll probably be keeping an eye on, too, like Bayonetta 3, um, Harvest Stella, that Story of Seasons game, you know, like there's a couple of other ones that I'm not necessarily going to write down, but, you know, they... They will, uh, if I see some news about them, I will click on them to see how those games are progressing. Uh, but yeah, this was a, this was a pretty good Nintendo Direct, like, my goodness. Oh, and then Pikmin 4, I forgot about Pikmin 4, I didn't even write down Pikmin 4, but you know, I'm probably going to be getting Pikmin 4, and I'm probably going to be playing Pikmin 4, I'm probably, I gotta play Pikmin 2, and then I gotta play Pikmin 3, and then I can play Pikmin 4, but, uh, you know, it seems like I got time for that, so, thanks for watching, appreciate it, see ya, the next time I see ya, peace!